long time no see. Sort of. I've been around, just not like my face. My face hasn't been around. We're going to do um, the rest of the evening together. How do you feel about that? Will you join me? I'm just going to assume you agreed. Are you nodding? Me too. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of things I want to chat with you about, so I figured we'll do like a sort of day in the life, normal bits and clips, how I started out, of, and I'll just throw the, the chatty bits in the middle. Right now it's afternoon time, and I've just been working on errands and things all day, and um, I'm wearing new boots. Ryan got me some new boots. I have the boxes that they came in on the table, if you can see them behind me. I'll show you. Let's see. Aren't they cute? They're from, I'll put the links below if you're interested. He got them for me, they're supposed to be for Valentine's Day, but like I could wait. Um, they got buttons and ruffles and they're like a burgundy color. They remind me of Librarian meets Mary Poppins meets Steampunk, which that's my style. I like it a lot. So, some things to chat about. First of all, a lot of you asked if I could make my to-do list that I did a couple of vlogs ago printable, and I don't know how. I don't know how to do it. I tried to scan it in. It didn't really work. So what you can do is there are tons and tons of other printable to-do lists that you can use and customize yourself. It's not going to be my hand-drawn doodle one, which I would share with you. You guys can just copy it. I'll go show you. You can screen copy it and then like print it and trace it if you want. Um, but there's other places you can find them. In fact, Megan and Layla just did a video on um, how she joined Christina, her, how she joined her Pinterest challenge, and she did a printable to-do list in there and had the link. So I will link her video, which has links to the printable to-do list below. Make sense? You still with me? But here, let's go look at mine. Sorry if that was shaky. Here is mine. Um, this is the stuff I've been working on today. This is working so great for me, you guys. Like. Tonight, don't judge my fingers. If you, I have to paint my nails, that's on there. See? Paint nails. I watched a really bad episode of One Tree Hill and tore up my fingers. Um, I'm going to go with the girls to a soup night. Do you guys remember the club I have called Sister Wives Soup Exchange? If you don't remember, no, I am not a sister wife. But there are benefits to having multiple women help you with domestic things. That's the general idea. So I'm going there tonight with Scarlett, and you guys will come with me. Here's all the stuff that I try and get done in the day, but it's okay if I don't. Top three are the stuff that I for sure want to get done today. And I already got Scarlett's monthly pictures done, and I'm going to do that soon. And I will do that soon. I don't have to worry about meals tonight because it's soup night. So if you want to copy this, ugh, I can't get it. Here, wait. Does that help? Probably not. I don't think you can. If you're cooler than me, maybe you can copy it. There's the scan over. Otherwise, just look below and you can see the link to the one Megan and Layla did. Or if you're on Pinterest, Google um, Google or Pinterest printables or worksheets or to-do lists, free printables, and you'll find something that works for you, I promise. So right now I'm going to put Scarlett's monthly photos up there. And uh, that's my Facebook. Which leads me to chatty bit number one. We'll see how many chatty bits are in this whole vlog. Um, I've had a lot of friend requests lately. And Facebook is not letting me accept some of you. I'm not sure why. However, if you leave a comment, if you say anything in there, then I can push the accept button. So if you tried to friend request me for the past month and I haven't been able to accept you, that's why. So if you want to add me on Facebook, great. Remember, I update like 10 times a day and we keep it a really respectful place. It's not like a place to, you know, get into controversy stuff. But um, if you want to add me, remember I am going to litter your feed because I update a lot. And leave a little note. Say like, I'm a new mom or I found you through Louise or however. Let me know in Facebook and then I can push the accept button. There we go. Chatty bit number one. Let's move right on to chatty bit number two. I had this video clip. It was the same um, night as the last clip I put up of Scarlett playing with the blocks um, where she is doing her little routine that she does, Scarlet that is, after daddy goes to work. Because Ryan always comes home for lunch and he has his lunch hours at all crazy times during his shift. So um, whenever he comes home, he plays with her for like 35 minutes and then goes back to work. And then she always does this little thing at the door and it's heart tugging and adorable. But the reason why I didn't put it up is because I have a complex about our carpet. It's clean, but it's ugly. It's indoor outdoor carpeting. I'm showing you the worst part of it here because I got to get over my complex. Um, and I have torn this part up myself. My mother-in-law and I found out there are hardwood floors under here. And so we were like, let's just rip them up and we'll refinish them and we'll do it ourselves, like we did in Scarlett's room. 
So we did this. We made these tears and seaming here, but then I decided it'd probably be smart for me to wait until Scarlett could walk before we really did that so that she didn't have to fall and bonk her head a lot. I know it wouldn't be a big deal for her to, you know, she could learn that the floor was hard, but we just decided to wait until this summer. So I didn't put that clip up because Scarlett is standing right here in that clip doing her adorableness and I, the whole time she was being cute, I just stared at the rug that I hate so much. But I've decided that cute outweighs the ugly. So I'm gonna put the clip in here, okay? Ready, go! Where's Dada? Where's Daddy? Did, oh, he's out there. Did he go bye-bye? You got a ball? That's nice. Oh! Yeah, say bye-bye, Dada. He just, yeah, bye-bye, Dada. He went bye-bye out that door. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Ryan, this is going to kill you. Much better. The best thing about doing my nails is that I get to check something off the to-do list. I like the way this color looks with my dress, even though I think the colors are probably kind of distorted here. It's OPI, and it's called Nice Color Eh. That's what it's actually called, Nice Color Eh. And I watched this foxy lady, and I'm going to continue to watch while I let him dry. This is Mrs. Fine Fettel, if you don't know. That's Crystal. Look at her. That's how she stands all the time, with her hands on her hip and her little hip cocked out that way. I'm <laughs> just kidding. And the expression on her face. Do you love me, Crystal? <laughs> okay, the phone's ringing. Um, Scarlett makes an appearance in this video, so maybe I'll come back to it. Gotta go answer the phone. It's the husband here. Say hi, Ryan. Yo! You always say yo. You don't say yo in real life. Why do you yo on YouTube? I yo. I yo when I'm on camera or something. I guess I'm not on camera, but I don't know. Okay, that all you got? I'm gonna answer. I'm gonna ask you two questions, and I want them answered immediately. <laughs> what are you doing? Ah, first, I'd like to get to know you. Who is your daddy, and what does he do? <laughs> I think you should get back to work. I don't know what you're talking about. Is it from a movie? Oh, you think of John Kimbo? <laughs> oh, I think of John Kimbo. It's Kindergarten Cop. I'm a cop, you idiot. <laughs> Shouldn't you be working? Uh, I need a vacation. How do you know that much of it? What is... You surprised me, sir. I have to go. I have videos to film and houses to clean. Very important domestics to do. I hope you left enough room for my fits because I'm going to ram it into your skull. <laughs> I don't think that we can understand you. Okay, lovely. Ta-ta then. Honey. Yes, I love you. Bye. No. Ryan, you, you're working, and I'm I'm working very hard, too. I have a household to run here. I know, and you're doing a good job, but I need to, I haven't talked to you all day, and I gotta go to a sh uh, shithole. Watch your mouth. Right now, we're watching Marie. This is uh, funny. And Ryan on their honeymoon. She is filming A Day in the Life and showing how she's watching me while she films A Day in the Life. It's... A vortex. It's that movie uh, that starts with an I. Where P Inception. It's Inception. Ah. Ryan, Marie's husband, the other Ryan, is totally gonna now expect that every time she sees me, it's true. Treats. It's true. I do this to myself. She gives and us cookies or some sort of treats every time. And if you noticed on my Facebook, when I said my husband just declared his undying love for crystal this is why he's come to expect it he loves crystal he's never met crystal but he may leave me for her someday good thing she has her own ryan oh well she's good people you, woke up. you did you did you did you did you show your cute outfit this is a consignment dress we got it for two dollars little corduroy thing with snaps on the back and then she's got oh can you see baby legs mama loves her baby legs can you do squidgy face can you do squidgy face Oh, you can point, yes. Can you wave? Say hi. No? No tricks. That's okay, because that can be a teaser. I have a video of her sitting in her high chair doing all of her stuff, so I'll put that one up in a couple days after this one. Do squidgy face. Do it. Oh, you silly. That's not squidgy face. Let's go change a diety. We gotta change your diaper. There's a good view of your whole cute outfit.
I like the little detailing on the bottom of this dress. You're so pretty. That squidgy face. That's your squ <laughs> She did it. By the way, we just bought Scarlett this um, crane humidifier, and I really like it. So if you're looking for a humidifier, it comes in four different colors, and it's nice. Squidgy face. <laughs> Look at those hick teeth, lady. She's got two on the bottom. See you now. Yes. And two on the top, and oh boy, those top ones. You poor darling girl. Okay, let's pick out a diaper. That diaper's off. This diaper's on. This is a Bum Genius um, 4.0. And we like it a lot. This is in their artistic series or something like that. I don't know. Do you remember the name of it? Oh, that's good. Show those teeth again. Show those teeth. Oh, honey, we have to learn early that beauty doesn't always mean comfort. Dirty diaper goes in the thingy. Yes, I got a new diaper pail. This one is bigger. And there, we need to do diaper laundry today. That thing is full. <sighs> We're going to have some lunch. Yeah, actually, it's more dinner. I don't know why I said lunch. We're going to have some dinner for the people girl. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. We'll give it quite a whirl. Hi. You got a cracker? <gasps> cracker. Yum. She's eating some whole wheat Ritz crackers, which she knows how to say cracker, by the way, that will also be in the video I'm gonna put up of her doing all her fun beeble tricks. She's got some frozen solid um, peas there, which are my favorite teething go-to. She loves them. <coughs> yeah, they're delicious. <laughs> she almost loves them as much as she loves the crackers. She's got some Cheerios just for snacks, and we've got some pureed carrots with brown rice. And this is my baby spoon from when I was little. So we're going to eat that up. Scarlett, can you say cracker? Cracker. It's kind of a funny sound when she says it. You'll just have to watch the next video because today she does not feel like performing. <laughs> Cutie bop. Are you so serious today? This is serious. Are you so serious? Yes. How big is that baby girl? <gasps> How big? So big! So big this way and this way. Good job. You're almost done. That's a big bite. Don't bite off more than you can chew. Life lesson number seven. Hey. Yeah, see? You're a quick learner. Good job. She said cheers. Layla, as in Megan and Layla's Layla, she cheers as everybody. When we went on our play date the other day, she kept taking everybody's sippy cups and cheersing them together. So cute. Okay, I thought of chatty subject number three. Is that what we're on? <laughs> Woo! I think so. I'm only going to add real people on my Facebook. So if you create a Facebook account, it only has two or three friends or zero friends. If it doesn't have any pictures of your hey. actual self. Oh, you want to be on camera? Okay, they can look at you. Um, I want to have real people. It's a community. So if your user picture is just a graphic or a cartoon, if it's not an actual person, I'm not going to add that. So... I don't mean to be uptight, but I have to do some sort of boundaries. This is the internet, you know. Say something. Do something. Be something. Good job. The other day on Facebook, I was complaining about how I was going a little stir-crazy because I had been inside for seven days. I said that we were running out of rations here, and I was sort of giving a captain's log. And I said that it was almost coming down to the point where we'd have to eat the, the Lulu, the small dog. La, la, la. And Scarlett said, no, no, no. We didn't eat her. She's making an appearance somewhere. Can you see her? Somebody said no, because then she won't be able to make little blip appearances in your vlog. So don't worry. We didn't barbecue the Lulu. I don't think she tastes that delicious anyways. Dogs are funky smelling. Lulu. See, she's alive. Totally unbarbecued. Begging even. She's lived to beg another day. Lulu, you're like, where's Waldo in the vlogs? You just sort of pop up every now and then, huh? Yeah. That should be your voice. Yeah, I'm Lulu. Woohoohoo. There's my tush. It's a Lulu tush. I can do this. That's my only trick. She is quite the water lush. <coughs> yeah, it's good stuff. That is some good stuff. She walks more than she crawls now, but she's still pretty uneasy. Like, she's not really sure about it. It's super cute. What fun game are you playing? The drink and spit? Drink and spit it all over your dress. Then dance a little bit and repeat. Awesome, because that's the outfit I wanted you to wear tonight. But look what you've done to it. You drink, you dance, you spit. 
goodness. <laughs> Is it funny? Is it funny? You can't do it with your toes. Scarlett wants to call her daddy. So we're going to get going in a couple of seconds, but I think I will let her call her daddy at work. And then... Dad, dad, dad. Oh, with a squidgy face and a fall down boom. Squidgy face while on the ground. Be dedicated to the squidgy face. She can't stop doing it now. She's made her little mess here, and she's going to play in that. Baby, you know what? Mommy doesn't really want you to climb around with this. Can you climb around with your dolly? Give her a kiss. That's nice. You heard Dada? There he is. There he is. She really wanted to call you. She was pointing at the phone and going, Dad, 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 Dad. The windows are totally frozen over, so I'm going to sit here for a while while they thaw. Oh. Yell at me. I will put my seatbelt on when I want to put my seatbelt on. You are not the boss of me. My car is bossy and I can't stand it. I call it, um, it's like Aunt Lorraine. Aunt Lorraine that's always nagging you and she wears too many necklaces. I mean, look at this. You don't really need all these buttons and bobs. She's wearing just way too many necklaces for no reason. Do you guys name your cars and your computers and your electronics? I name some of them. The ones I'm in all the time. I've done that since I was little. I used to name my bike. And then I had adventures with my bike like it was a horse or a pony and I lived on the country farm or something. I made stuff up as I went. I'm an only child. Ha! Anyways, this is Aunt Lorraine. My car before this was Cranky Wyatt because every time you open and close the doors, it would creak at you real loud. Um, and my computer is Gertie Tron 5000. Chat bit number four. I just said this on Facebook and I think I should say it here too. I want to say a big thank you to all of you guys, the people who are friends with me on Facebook and the people who comment below. I know that people watching this are from all over the world, different cultures, beliefs, backgrounds, the way we were raised, so much of it can be completely opposite ends of the spectrum, and I love how much respect there is for each other. So even if you don't believe the same things I believe, even if you completely disagree with the things that I believe, I love that in this community we can have a conversation and we can just look at it as interesting. I think it's very interesting to have a discussion with someone who completely disagrees with me without throwing judgment around. And you guys are so good at that, and I really appreciate it. So, um, yeah, I'd high five you, but I can't. I just I can't do it. I can't. Do it. I just can't. Oh, you didn't see it coming! Surprise five. You give a hug. Oh, that's nice. As you spit all over her. We splash, splash, splash. Spa water. Fancy treatment for beetles. Cucumber water. You gonna have a spa day coming up soon, people? Mm -hmm. You already have cucumber on your face. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jessica, like by the way. Some spa. of you know her on my Facebook. Hi. <laughs> She's the friend that I talk about on Facebook a lot. The picture is way more fun. Avocado down! Avocado down! Okay, I want my avocado. <laughs> Clean now. Thanks. Yes. It's gonna taste like cucumber avocado. It's a new thing. It's hybrid. Fusion. Mm. Don't they use like avocado for facial masks? They do. Mm -hmm. so and cucumber. And cucumber. So this would be like a perfect little spot. You could charge $150 for what's going on right now. Yeah. She just tried to splash you. It's a spa moment and a lesson. In reflection, refraction, and absorption. Whoa, <laughs> She's learning. Oh yeah, we can put the and giant a tomato. There too. <laughs> Look, it needs more color. it's Bob and Larry. Oh, poor Larry. <laughs> <laughs> Dead Larry. Larry's having a very interesting spa day. <laughs> Jeez. If you guys are looking for something to do with your kids, <laughs> pitcher of water, put something in it, stick them on top of a countertop, <laughs> and get an audience. Yeah, <laughs> That's all you say. Yeah. This is the coat that Ryan got me. People asked for me to post it again because there was really bad lighting on my Christmas video. But it's from Victoria's Secret, and it comes in longs, which is good for tall girls. And it's got little pleaty skirt bits you can, you can and I love it so much good pockets too but because it is wool it attracts everything so Lulu's small dog 
is going against me with the coat. We only have little out. Soup night is done. I'm probably gonna put a couple of little clips in there, but I couldn't really film with all the girls because it's just awkward to pull out my camera. It kind of breaks the moment. So I did film some of the end when one of the husbands came home. And um, those of you who are on my Facebook and know my friend Jessica, because I've been talking about her a bit on Facebook and um, a lot of you have been really helpful. She makes a mini appearance in this vlog. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take Scarlett to visit Ryan really quickly at work. I know it looks super dark out, but it's not really as late as it seems. And then I'm going to take her home and put her to bed. And if I'm really brave, if I'm really brave, I will share the stupid little um, lullaby that I sing to her. Man, singing on YouTube twice now, breaking all the rules. We'll see. We will see about that. Anyway, so we're going to visit Ryan at work, but I'm not going to bring the camera in for that. And I'm going to eat some cake because the girls said cake once and then all of us decided we needed cake. So now we're all going home, but everybody said they were going to stop and get cake on the way. So I have to too. Peer pressure. Okay, we just walked through the door and it is bedtime for Scarlett. She's asleep in her car seat. I'll show you. There she is. If she stays that way, then I think that means that I get to get out of singing the lullaby. It's not really a big deal anyways. You wouldn't listen for the voice. It's just because it's a little rhyme that I wrote for her. There's me. Hello, me. Um, after she goes to sleep, I want to reset the house for the day. So there's some stuff that needs to be picked up there and her toys that she's thrown about there and the books that are supposed to go up right there. And the small dog who has messed up all of my couch cushions there. That's Lulu. Lulu, you're the small dog, right? You're very good at being a small dog. You do all the things that small dogs do. Like yip, 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 yip all the time. And climb up on my couch cushions all the time. <laughs> and shake for no reason. All the time. All the time. All right. Yes, let's put the baby to bed, shall we? You help me. You take the car seat. I'll take the kid. We'll tag team this. You got it? Here we go. Oh, there's a glare on your face, Dolly. She is pretty much asleep. We'll see if we can keep her this way. There's my lips while um, we change her diaper. Let's go. Out of the Lovely Pocket Classic into a Lovely Pocket Rave and she's still on the smallest waist setting. And she's not happy. Time to go non-night. So part of our normal nightly routine is Scarlet reaches out and grabs her mobile that I made for her and we twist it and point at all the colors. Yeah, but she's not feeling it since I woke her up. And then I also, sh 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 sh. I usually drape her back and run her under the mobile like, you know, like so that the pieces can fall on her face and she loves that. But she's really cranky right now, so I think we're gonna have a little bit of a tough man at time. I'm sorry, sweetie. Mommy's got you. I'm right here. I love my little scarlet girl. Today was so much fun. We laughed and danced and sang and played. And now the day is done. I'll miss my little scarlet girl. Oh, the whole night through. But I can't wait, my scarlet girl, to spend my tomorrow with you. She always grabs a fistful of her blankie. And she's getting more and more disheveled, but it's getting late, so that's okay. So I've got our diaper pail there, and we have two liners. That's the new one to go in once we pull this one out. So we're just going to take this off. I think I can do it with one hand. Oh, guacamole. I did it. Now we take it to the laundry. Do you guys have nighttime cues with your kids? Like with Scarlett, we always do the same routine and I only sing her that lullaby that I made up for her at night so that she knows bedtime's coming next. Do you guys have things like that? Let me know. Once, last time I asked you guys a question, we were in the laundry room together. This is our little, like, chatting area. Okay, so now we put it on the fullest load, 
which is right there, on hot cold. Then I add a scoop of my chunky sage. I showed you guys this last time, but I always have people ask, so we're going to show it again. I don't do very much. Not even that amount. And then we're going to add the diapers in after I put the soap in. Diapers go in, and I kind of spread them around the basin. And I flip this thing inside out so the yucky part touches the water. I don't touch the yucky part. Toss it in the back. That's that. I think I'm going to do an extra rinse because this is a really full load. I usually um, pick and choose when I want to do an extra rinse or not. Since these have been sitting for two very full days and it's nighttime now, we are going to do one. This is my apron collection. Pretty. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. Okay, I'm going to tidy her toys. While I continue to tidy, I'm going to turn on Jersey Shore which is copywritten, so you guys can't help me anymore. Um, but I will tell you, somebody asked where we got the wood blocks that she was stacking the other day all by herself in my last vlog. And they, oh, that doesn't go in there. They are from Costco, but they're called Sure S-H-U-R-E Alphabet and Numbers Wooden Blocks. And they're really neat because they have numbers on them so that, you know, has 20 of everything. And then other ones have letters on them. So there's a K, kangaroo, a koala, a king, a key, a kite, and lots of different colors. So she likes them a lot. Her wooden toys go in this little tray. Oh, my knobby farmer. He's a knobby farmer, not a naughty farmer, in case you misheard me. I don't know why I'm having you do this with me because now we can't watch Jersey Shore. Yay! You're home. Oh, it's like you saying like the baby was still up or something. No, she went to bed. I think the windshield can get fixed. You saw it? Yeah. I, I have a crack on my windshield and up. I just noticed it. Well, that's good. Look at, that thing right Look at what? That thing right there. Lulu! Lulu! Get off of my clean clothes. I'm going to fold those. That's what you do, small dog. Small dog things like laying on my clean clothes. It's no good. You have lots of comfy little doggy beds. Marie just judge me because I'm eating a brownie and water. Who water does that? Goes, water goes with everything. No. You cannot have a brownie and water. That's gross. You going to dip your brownie in your water? Doesn't no. That, that's it's just to cleanse my palate. Water's good. Water goes with everything. No. Well, this water isn't going to be water forever. Pretty soon it's going to be airborne. Oh, brownie and airborne? Now that's no. something I can get behind. <laughs> I'm going to eat the brownie first, and then once that's done, then I'll airborne, airborne it up. That's a recipe for health. Mm -hmm. He's got his jammy pants on. Shake that, Tookus. <laughs> you already shook it on our on our, an our honeymoon video. Did you see it? I'm supposed to go on the internet. I know. I uploaded that before I asked him about it. He said it was Jim Jam's time. Mm-hmm. It is. This is um, Trader Joe's turkey jerky. It's delicious. I got teriyaki flavor. Good stuff. I've done my chores. It's 11 something something at night and I'm gonna watch Jersey Shore because that's my guilty pleasure and then go to bed. Um, I'm going to do, Ryan finally has time for me to interview him on being a cloth diapering dad tomorrow morning so by the time you see this I'll probably have already filmed it so I don't think I can take any new questions. But before that video goes up, I'm going to put up the video of Scarlett doing some of her cute beeble tricks in her high chair. So look for that one in a couple of days. Good night.